Hello friends, how are we doing today, huh? I'm Adam Brasky, the Average Dad Gamer, and today's episode starts our road for Platinum Guns, which is really boring, because it's long shots. So I went ahead and did the ARs, and I'm gonna play with it, some of them today so you can see what they look like, with the Platinum Camo on them, which I think Platinum actually looks pretty cool in this game, but here's a big butt. Big butts and I cannot lie. Today we're mainly going to talk about the state of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Maybe talk about Warzone a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm mainly a multiplayer guy. And also what's going to happen with the channel here until about March. Enough chit chat, let's play some games. All right, first things first, we're going to check out the TAC 56 or the SCAR Platinum Camo. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Ren's already got Orion, so what does she care? She care? <laughs> I just wasn't making content. I gotta sit here for a second because uh, my first game lag is gonna go crazy with it. All right, so basically all we're doing today is we're talking about the state of Modern Warfare 2 and I guess a little bit of Warzone, but if I'm being honest, I don't really care about Warzone. If you don't know, they added Resurgence mode back. It's called Ashika Island. And the reason I keep turning my head is I have a graph pulled up to my left side. All right, I'll post it on screen so y'all can like snapshot it if you want. And you can look at it too if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, they added Resurgence back, which I guess that's cool. I'm excited about it. I liked Resurgence, but I, I did it's too. Not, like something I want to do all the time, but it was fun. Yeah, it was. I can agree. I had my moments with it where I liked it and where it was really just not fun. But it's called Ashika Island. This man's throwing C4. They're bringing back 1v1 gulags for Aldera, so I kind of like the 2v2, but I can understand how the 2v2 gulag was. 2v2 a pain. was kind of fun and different, but and maybe good for some content, but like as actual playing, probably not the best. Because people go AFK and stuff, and then you're screwed yeah. trying to 2v1. Yeah. Yeah. And then they are bringing back redeploy balloons, which those showed up near the end of Caldera, which should have been in the game to begin with. So they're putting that in there and calling it content when it really shouldn't be. Even though they're drones now, but I'm still going to call them balloons. Yeah, so I don't know what's up with that. They should have been in there. They're adding a watercraft and apparently you can do DMZ on Ashika Island too, if you're a big DMZ fella. But I think enough of Warzone. I think I'm, I think I'm done talking about Warzone here. My thing with Warzone is I'm not a big Warzone player, but I do want it to do well. And I want all the content creators to have a good game too, even though it's not really my thing. Yeah, I want I want to like, I think I'd like Warzone better if the HP was higher. That's, that's my biggest gripe and has always been my biggest gripe with Warzone is the HP. You die so fast. You die literally before you can react. Like it's science. Yeah. But uh, anything else you want to say about Warzone, Ren? Before we move on to the the no, main I mean, the main I agree. complaints, like it's PTK and they need to shake up the meta. They've done like pretty much no weapon balancing at all during this the whole they haven't life cycle really, and it's like we need to we need some meta shaking up yeah. itch. Yeah. All right, I just switched to the Latchman 556. If in case y'all wondering, here it is. Hit the fat inspect on it. Shiny, it's beautiful. But now we talk about multiplayer. The game we paid $70. Well, in my case, I paid 100 because I bought the vault edition or whatever. Right. I am thoroughly, thoroughly upset about how they're treating multiplayer. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not disappointed. I'm upset. I am upset. It's actually criminal, bro. Straight up robbery. So they're adding another raid, which that's cool. That's new content. I'll give them props for that. That's cool. Yeah, the raid was cool. I enjoyed the first one. So I'm glad they're putting that in there. So like a little story continuation to uh, what I'm assuming is introducing Alex back in the game. Yeah, the Oscar Pistorius of odd operators. Well, hopefully he's actually a good guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's just missing a leg or two. <laughs> Multiplayer maps. They're adding two, what's it called? Battleground or what's the big big team battle or yeah, whatever? Yeah, like Ground War. And, uh, ground War, yeah. Invasion, invasion, which I don't really play those. So, I mean, that's cool that the people that do, they're getting mapped. It's basically sectioned off parts of Almazra, which that's what they were originally anyway, like the ones that are in the game right now. But multiplayer maps, 6v6. Devastating. They put Dome in, which I don't remember which COD it was, if it was COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2, but they're putting that in the game, which they also reimagined for Vanguard. So if you play Vanguard- Yeah, it came, what was it? It was Radar or something like yeah, that? Yeah, and it came in like, I think season two or something, if I remember correctly. So they're 
putting a map that we got reimagined in the last game in this game already. And if you played the beta, the museum map that got taken out because of legal issues is getting added in. If and they're they never really explained to us what the issue was with that. It no. just like kind of wasn't there. It just wasn't there, but people are saying it was because of legal issues. I mean, it's a good guess, but like the fact that there was no communication about that whatsoever is just strange in and of itself. Maybe they just didn't want people knowing their legal business, I don't know. So they're giving us a beta map and calling it content, and a map that we just got in the last Call of Duty. So that's kind of a bummer and kind of annoying, actually. What I think they should have done with maps was released... Okay, so if you played Al Mazda, the new BR map for Warzone 2, they have parts of old, like, COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 maps. Spread, th spread yeah, throughout all Mazda. we already have maps, like, in the game. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, for season one, this is what I think they should have done. They should have put, like, three, three of those maps in, right? And had, like, a classic Modern Warfare playlist, right? And then as time goes on, add to it and yeah. just make, make that playlist could beefier. could playlist out of it. it would yes. Be lit. Instead, they're just, like, drip feeding it to us. And by then, nobody's going to want to play the game anymore. Oh, that man kill me. Kind of annoyed at how they're doing the maps right now it's actually it's actually cringe i'm more than annoyed honestly like i'm actually pissed off about it yeah like i feel betrayed about it because they're like i mean they're gaslighting us into believing that this is actually new content but it's like, not it's a it's a map that has been remastered in the last game that we had yes already and reimagined and now we're getting it again which is fine but then the other map is literally was a freaking beta map that should have been in the game the whole time. And now they're going to pretend like that's new content. And it's like, not, bro. It's not. Let's switch guns real quick. Let's go to the cast off. It feels like a betrayal. Like, it does. Yeah, I, paid a lot, I paid a lot of money for this game because I thought it was going to be kind of like an homage to original Modern Warfare series. And it's just not. I thought it was going to be two years worth of content, too start there like yeah but that was always a rumor so i don't know there was one of the i thought one of the guys who works for activision talked about the fact that it was and that there was just supposed to be a like an expansion thing in year two i didn't think it was just a leak situation a lot of people people are saying it was a leak thing so um, i don't know but i hope this game gets two years worth of content but apparently rumor has it sledgehammer's getting the next full release and it's going to be set in the modern warfare like universe i guess you'd say but it's going to be a full premium game which i can already tell you now i really do not want to pay for it at all i might i just have to see how it is i don't know i mean this game they had how many years to work on it three. and they did a full game and it's barely even like three and all, getting... all the studios worked on it too it wasn't just infinity ward yeah were... and it's it's like it has the good bones but it's ass like there's so many things about this game like all this stuff they're drip feeding is content and pretending like it's new and this stuff that should have been in the game like they're treating it like shit they are the balancing is horrible they're not even doing like updates on it as it goes and balancing shit like it's just i don't understand how they think it's going to be successful when they're treating it this way you know activision wants their money at the end of every quarter they've been doing it for like what 13 14 years yeah but you know what they would get i think they would get a lot of money if they actually spent time and did a two-year cycle game and invested and did live service updates on it and it's like continued to better it and all that stuff rather than just dumping us with oh here's a game oh here's another game oh here's another game and yeah. it never feels finished the games never feel finished maybe like back in the day they did but definitely not lately no but not re i'm talking recently they yeah. do not feel finished like it is not enough whatever they're doing and like even in old games like the map they would have a shit ton more maps oh yeah than we have even oh yeah now. like how do you have a game that you've been working on for three years and we release with like six new maps i don't understand i don't either i don't either also the game modes let's talk about the game modes here they're releasing party game modes finally right infected gun game grind drop zone all or nothing i'm not sure what that is and then one in the chamber i think at least half of those should have been in the game at launch those are like almost cod staples and they're they're giving them to us in season two like are you kidding me bro pretty embarrassing like this is all just so embarrassing to me and i love gun game gun game is one of my favorite party game game modes yeah we would have so much fun with that in fact it's pretty fun too I remember playing that and it was either COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2. I don't remember which one, but Infected's fun. Like, at least half of those should have been in here at launch. And I think what they tried to do was push the new game modes they had, like the Prisoner Rescue and... I 
forgot what the other one was. Prisoner Rescue is basically just S and D. Like, yeah, there was. Not new. I'm pretty sure there was one more game mode. I just can't remember the name of it that they tried to push at launch, and I'm pretty sure people didn't really take to it very well. But oh, okay. I've got to say this before we get back into talking about the state of Modern Warfare 2. But last night, Pod SB Mim Gods blessed us with a bot lobby. Also, here's an M4 with Platinum. I dropped my highest kill game. I think it was 100 and it was like 121 or something. Uh, something like that. That was crazy. I'll put a screenshot on the screen and show y'all, but I got so many chopper gunners. I was frying. I don't know what kind of lobby they thought we deserved to be in, but I'm glad we were in that one. Well, then the game immediately after that, I got three chopper gunners in one game. Like those guys just got the big dukas. Yeah, it was actually insane. I'm glad. I'm glad we deserve that sometimes, you know? SBMM is not no. usually too nice to us. We're always in the sweaty try hard lobbies. Yep. Which, you know, it's fine, but sometimes I just want to have fun and not have to try super hard, you know? Yeah, just turn my brain off, run around and shoot stuff. Yeah, sometimes I don't want to have to try in order to play the game. So where do we leave off at? We were talking about party games. I guess we're kind of done with that, the game modes I mean, and stuff. at the end of the day, half the content that they're giving us for season two is shit that should have been not even season one but on launch let's be honest here like none of this is new content none of it is i, I don't know like i'm just upset at what they're doing and it feels like they're giving more attention to warzone than the free than game the game that you actually paid for paid to play yep. and that pisses me off really bad but then i'm watching warzone players and even they're mad even they're like, we're not getting any content. I know, because so like, well, uh, hell, they got more than we did, and even they feel jip. Because like, a lot, a lot of the stuff they're getting is just stuff how Warzone One ended before uh, Warzone Two came out. Like the redeploy balloon, like all the stuff that I mentioned in the beginning, like the redeploy balloon and stuff. Like that was stuff that should just been should have been in the game. Also, at the time of recording this, they haven't. There hasn't been patch notes, so I don't know if they're doing any weapon balancing. They don't do balancing and nerf fucking flashbangs. I'm gonna lose my mind. Or the, like, or the RPK. Significantly less. Or the RPK. Get rid of the RPK. I mean, there's a lot of things that need to be balanced, but really, for me personally, in my personal playing, just start with the fucking flashbang. Yeah. Make this game playable. So there's no the there's there's no balancing changes as of right now, but also in season two we're getting new guns. Those guns being what is it called the Hemlock ISO, ISO Hemlock Assault Rifle yeah. gives me some growl vibes, not completely, but just a little. And then a shotgun just that looks like an AR and freaking Daryl Dixon's crossbow. All you Walking Dead fans. That shotgun is making me nervous. Oh, uh, Shipman's gonna be cancer. There it is. But oh, and for the melee enthusiasts like myself, dual Kadashis. I am excited about that. Yes, I love me some our melees. Right now, are just other night like knife blueprints. That's it. Yep. And the some marksman rifle that doesn't look fun to use. <laughs> Imagine that. Yep. Um, what makes me want to like spend money on a game that wasn't even intended to be a full release when they haven't even treated this one? like good at all and this, then this was supposed to be the poster child for the new cod era yeah and then i'm gonna want to play the continuation of that by vanguard people are you kidding me i think sledgehammer game like they make okay games but like they just somehow always missed a mark like i think vanguard would have been okay if it wasn't world war ii bro like world war ii is just played out we're done with know, world war ii there was a lot of things wrong with Vanguard that didn't have anything to do with the time period it was set in. I gotta be honest with you. I will say Vanguard did not cater to camping. Like you hardly saw campers. It was so fast paced. Everyone was moving. That's like the one good thing about Vanguard is that everyone was running around and it was actually fun and I could yes. actually do my play style. Yes, unlike this game where they cater to, you know, a certain play style. The Sentinels, as they call them. I will call them Sentinels. They're campers, they're bots. Oh, I need to change my Sorry. gun. Let's get the AK-74U out here. Like, just bot-tastic. That's what I realized last night, is that, like, you know, I did the grind, and I did the grind before shipment was here, for the most part. Yeah. Like, I got pistols. You're doing you're doing headshots pretty much on, on uh, shipment. On shipment, yeah. And so, like, I pretty much did everything before, and so, like, I've played all the maps. I've played tier one which also is stupid as fuck that they had that instead of hardcore we can also add that to the list but anyways um like i did all that but then now that shipment's here i realize i'm just like a one-trick pony i cannot play any game on this on any, map? For two. You mean yeah, map? any map that is not shipment because it's the only one that allows me to do my play style 
Run and gun, baby. Run and gun. Everyone else is just camping in corners, sitting there, and by the time I run, I'm getting killed by three people camping in corners and angling out when I just want to run and shoot my gun and have fun, and you just can't do that because this game Caters is to not them. catering. Yeah, it's not catering to people like me who want to run and shoot their gun. Oh, also, before I forget, I forgot to mention what's going to happen with the channel. Okay, so I'm having surgery this Friday, so I'm going to be kind of out of commission for a bit. So I'm going to try and pre-record a bunch of videos until the end of the month. So probably around March, we'll start voting again on, I guess, weapons to do long shots on. But like, I don't know how fun that's going to be, but... Basically, I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff pre-recorded, so no voting for the time being until I feel better. Better. Uh. Ooh, I forgot how good the AK-74U is. Yeah, I haven't used it in a hot minute. So good. Anyway, that's about all we got. I think we're done uh, bitching about. Modern Warfare 2. We have a right to bitch. We paid money, man. Yeah. For promises, promises. Yeah.